I was so thrilled when I found out that my novel Don't Stop Thinking About Tomorrow had been shortlisted for Les Incorruptibles Book Award. Excuse my terrible French accent. Um, and I thought it would be good to just share with you a little bit of background about the book and why, why I wrote it really. And if I had to boil it down into one word, it would be anger. Uh, I'd been becoming increasingly angry at just seeing what was happening in the world, the refugee crisis here in the UK, more and more people living in poverty, relying on food banks to, to eat and to feed their families. And so it was really anger at what was going on in the world that sort of, that fueled me to write the book and just a desire to use my writing to bring people's awareness to these issues and so that's why I'm, I'm so thrilled that, that it has been shortlisted for this award and the thought of thousands of French students reading the story of Stevie and Hafiz which were both based on, on real stories of real people so Stevie I drew a lot on my own personal experience when I was writing her story because I grew up um, in a very, you know, sort of a, a poor family, we didn't have much money, and things like what happens with her school shirt that actually happened to me. <laughs> um, and obviously, I don't have experience of being a Syrian refugee like Hafiz, but uh, before I started writing the book, I did lots of research and studied lots of accounts of, of refugees and what they went through. And so everything that happened to Hafiz on his path to the UK had actually happened to re real life refugees that I had um, discovered. And so it was very important to me that that, that was authentic. Um, so yeah, everything in the book that happened to him has happened to real people in real life. So um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that, that you guys are all reading the book. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope just finding this out, a little bit of background about it and why I wrote it, sort of inspires you really. If there's anything that, about the world that makes you angry, that you feel passionately about. I think this book is a good example of how you can create something. You can use anger to sort of fuel your creativity and, and just try and create something to make raise awareness about whatever the issue is, whatever it is that, that, um, that is important to you. I think this book hopefully will inspire you maybe to create something of your own. Um, yeah, and, and to, to just raise awareness or, or just make some kind of positive difference in the world. So thank you again so much for shortlisting the book and I really hope you enjoy it and um, yeah just thrilled to be involved in this and I wish I could come and visit you and I will soon as soon as we're able to travel again so stay safe and stay reading.